What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I will walk you through the Alpaquita Ranch here near Raymondville, Texas. This interactive alpaca ranch barely started last December of 2020 for the sole purpose of having them as a pet for the owner's grandkids. She fell in love with the fluffy alpacas during her trip in Peru, so she decided to purchase a few of them and brought them here to Texas. When they were having a family gathering at the ranch, the alpaca pictures caught so many people's attention and they went viral. So then, they made the alpaca ranch open for anyone who are interested and intrigued to meet these exotic animals for a small fee that could help maintain and take care of the alpaca's needs. You want to pet them, you want to pet them over here. Alpacas do not have teeth in the top, they only have teeth in the bottom, so they don't bite. Okay, that's how they are. We didn't take them out, I promise. Notice how I'm grabbing the alpaca because the alpaca's not going to want to kiss you by itself, right? So you grab it from here, you bring it like this, and you will hear the alpaca sniffing. It just wants to smell you, okay? And then you can take a selfie like this, like the alpaca giving you a kiss. A few fun facts about these animals. Alpacas live at high altitude in the South American Andes Mountains in Peru and Bolivia. They're expensive. Yes. Yeah, they are expensive. Um, alpacas, you can buy alpacas for $70,000, $80,000, but mine are all in the tent. So if there's no machine, if you want a nice looking alpaca that is trained, at least halter trained, um, that is good, you will pay at least $2,000. If you want an alpaca that is wild, you can even get one for $100. So it's kind of expensive. Oh, the young alpaca is hard to train. I mean, the old alpaca is hard to train. You get a young alpaca and a dusty one. Okay? Oh. It looks so pretty with a dress. Oh, thank you. So this is uh, cashmere. Hi, cashmere. Cashmere. Yes. Don't be scared. She's super shy. She does not kick and she does not spit. So she's very, very good. She's mo she's mommy will be mo too you guys go like this. Okay. You can hug you can bring her to you like this. Remember she does you see? And she will smell you and you can hug her and take super nice pictures. Oh my god. And take her for a walk. She's so fluffy. Yes, she is. Go Cashy. Go. She's so fluffy. It's okay. Huh? Okay. Alpacas are also related to llamas, which is exactly why they kinda look the same. Another interesting fact about alpacas is that they can live an average of 20 years. I'm not sure if it's true, but they said that the oldest alpaca lived till his 27th year. There are two kinds of alpacas, the wakaya and the suri. And according to the statistics, 90% of alpacas are wakaya. Llamas and alpacas can breed and their babies are called huarizo, while a pure baby alpaca is called cria. Isn't that so cute? Alpacas are usually safe to be around, that's why some people have them as pets. Unlike some livestock, alpacas are very quiet and gentle animals. And by the way, did you know that alpacas do not have teeth in the top front of their mouths? That's why they always look like they have an adorable underbite. I wish I could show you, but I don't think I'm allowed to put my hand on Kashmir's mouth. Where is it, lovey? What is it? Where are you going? I know. Let's go get some shade. Let's look at these earlobes. They look <laughs> earrings. Let's go. I want one. She's a free friend. I want one <laughs> for Hunter. Do you and Hunter so can play with? Huh? So you can play with it. Yeah. Your dog. I guess they're kind of fairly new because she said they, um, they really got here like, what, oh, yeah. 1984? 
Now these are Camille and Lucille. Aren't they the world's cutest sheep? They are Valley's black-nosed sheep from Switzerland. They're here. Just kind of like alpaca. Yeah, they're like small. So lovely. <laughs> like all other sheep, they are excellent climbers and can be found in the Swiss Alpine mountains in the summertime. Look at these little black patches on their nose, eyes, and ears. These type of sheep is a rare breed with shaggy coats and spiral horns. And their wool is considered to be excellent for carpets, bedding, and felting. You're pretty. The, the um, what do you call it? Scottish Highlander? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I want a farm now. Now we are about to meet Mr. Jimmy Chu, who is actually a Scottish Highlander. I believe he's only eight months old. He's still a baby. The Highland cow is the oldest registered breed of cattle in the world. Hairy coos as they are locally and affectionately known. They have wavy, woolly coats that can be red, ginger, black, yellow, white, gray, tan, or silver. But according to my research, the original Scottish Highlanders were black. How they change their colors, I don't know. The most noticeable difference between a bull and a cow is their horns. A bull's horns often grows forward or even slightly downwards and have a much wider base whereas a cow's face upwards and are longer and finer at the tip. Their milk generally has a very high butter fat content, which is very appealing to a lot of farmers. Look at that! Shoulder, chuck, rib. I work with HUB. Sorry, but I'm so doing it to you. I know, like not that one, please. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. Look at this one. Yeah. Is it okay if I take a video? Yeah, you want. Yeah, like, oh, this is so cute. Very. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I think I'm draining the feast. <laughs> Eat your hair. <laughs> I was like, that's not part of the food, guys. Oh, look, they're fighting for the food. There you go. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're battling it out. When I go to Peru, I'm getting one. I'm taking one for the house. I'm like, Dad, we're going to sell our house and we're going to get a ranch. Because I'm going to have little alpacas. Alpacas? Alpacas? How do you say alpacas? that? Alpacas? Alpacas? That's, like, that's probably alpacas. like the English way of saying it. 